You know, cooking with wine really adds a lot of great flavors to your dishes, especially seafood. The wine we're using today is the king of Washington State, Chateau St. Michel, Columbia Valley Chardonnay. This wine is crisp, clean, and bright, and it has lighter oak, which is what I like because it's more food friendly. The Columbia Valley is on the east side of the state, where over 90% of the grapes are grown. Now, as you know, the west side of the state, where Seattle's located, is very cold and very damp. They receive around 38 inches of rain per year, but the Columbia Valley only receives 8 inches of rain per year. This is because of the Cascade Mountains that block the rains, known as the rain shadow. And that warmer, drier climate is what Chardonnay loves. Now, today, we're going to make a delicious Alaska sockeye salmon dish. Now, as you know, Alaska sockeye is fresh during the summer months, but in the wintertime, they freeze millions of pounds, so we can enjoy it all year long. We're going to start by heating our pan over medium-high heat for at least one minute. In the meantime, we're going to season our salmon with some salt and fresh cracked pepper. Next, we're going to add some oil to the pan and swirl the coat. And we'll add our salmon fillets skin side up. Now, it's important to not touch those fillets for the first minute to get a good caramelization on there. That's where all the flavor comes in. Mmm, apple and toasted oak. Let's give them a turn. Beautiful bronze color on there. Now, personally, I think the skin is delicious, but if you don't like the skin, you can remove it. It's really simple. You just turn them over and take your tongs and pull it right off. And we'll just give them one more turn for about one more minute, maybe 30 seconds on that side where the skin was. And we'll remove and set them on a plate and set them aside to rest when we make our quick pan sauce. Now we're going to take a paper towel and wipe out that excess oil from the pan. Put the heat back on medium. And right, next we're going to add our capers to the pan. But we're going to mash about a third of them to really get those flavors opened up. And we'll add our Chateau St. Michel Chardonnay wine. This will deglaze the pan as well. Getting all those flavors off the bottom. Now it's really important to get that wine reduced by 75% to really concentrate those flavors for the sauce. Traditionally, in a butter wine sauce, you would use lemon juice as your acid, but today we're using capers for our acid. Much more flavor. Now make sure when you add your butter, it's cold, cold butter right out of the refrigerator. But we're gonna do a little bit of a trick today. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of heavy cream to keep that sauce from breaking, but shh, don't tell everybody. And there's our reduction by 75%. We'll add some of this butter here. And as it starts to get in when whisk in, here's our secret cream. Shh, don't tell everybody. Not a lot, just a little. And here's some more butter. And we're ready to eat. Hey, thanks for cooking with me today. You're always welcome in my kitchen. Cheers.